Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and separate at least one, the number one carb, and uh, see what is underneath this JB Weld here. It's kind of scary. <laughs> but uh, let's take a look, see here. Okay, got the right bit. Oh, and uh, I think I said about these magnetic plates here. I got like 10 of them today. I love those things. There we go. And what I'm going to do, hopefully so I don't forget, is I'm going to make a little... Uh, index mark on each of these to make sure that they don't go out of alignment well surprise surprise I just wiggled this a little bit and look at there let's see here right, look right there <laughs> comes right out and I can see the o-ring I can see the o-ring so I've got a repack kit coming in so I can repack those O-rings and hopefully I'm going to try to chip away all this JB weld. So let me do that and I'll, I'll come back. <laughs> I wasn't kidding about these uh, magnetic bowls. They are so handy. So. <laughs> Reason why I got this out. So. Uh, I can put I can put these screws and the other screws and keep them separate so I don't forget which ones go where. There you go, just like that. Here's the uh, the uh, the T the T pipe that goes between the center two carbs and it's just full of JB weld what a mess <laughs> can't wait till my uh, repack kit comes in it's gonna look a whole lot different <laughs> all right I got my carburetor repack kits and I was debating whether I wanted to replace the jets or not but since I got them I might as well so I'm gonna replace all the jets and it came with the o-rings to replace on the connectors so i will do that too and hopefully this will get it to uh, working condition so i will do one at a time i'm just going to do one and again i only put these barely finger tight because i knew i was going to have to replace the uh, o-ring gasket thing around here so let's do that first and then we'll do the rest later one bag at a time all right so these <laughs> the old ones were kind of crushed to hell so I imagine they were no bueno there look at that might put a little petroleum jelly on it just to get it to stick down but yeah they're, they're supposed to stick up just a little bit well I guess it stayed down so I don't need the gel after all these are incredibly handy uh, I used to be an aircraft mechanic and these are called scribes we call them scribes but they're just picks and they have come in handy for little jobs like that and to pull out o-rings and whatnot. Just a little uh, float jet. Just like that. Yeah. Like a soap. I don't see any o-rings down in there, but whatever. Give it a little shot. Get a little shot of 
cleaner. There's the old one. The new one seems a little bit longer. I don't think that matters. There's the new one, there's the old one. I think they made it longer just to make it easier to extract. Yeah, it just makes it easier to take out. So the way <laughs> I was taught to check, make sure threads are equivalent is uh, what you do is you take the one thread you're trying to match up and the unknown and you just lay them on top of each other and, uh, and if they they mesh up they are this very the same threads so these these do seem to mesh up yeah, let me make sure that stems are the same length at least yeah, it does look like the stems are the same length. Probably some pros out there yelling at your screen, but whatever. I am not a professional, and I'm just trying to get this thing running. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to use a pair of pliers. Huh. That's weird. It didn't come with this. I guess you don't need this, so I will put this back in, or you don't need to replace that, unless you maybe already have one. This jet here, I'm not sure what this jet is for. Looks a little worn out. Yeah, this one looks kind of worn out. So I'm going to go with the new one. Put my float back in, pin back in, put this back on, like a so. And I'm not going to wrench these down because I don't want to crush that gasket too much, but that's pretty much it. I'll give it a little snug. Okay, I got it all back together. <laughs> the only problem, well, I'll show you this first. I got the uh, all the JB Weld off the linkages there. Replaced all the O-rings. Here are the old ones. And uh, the only problem, and I kind of manually leveled all the carbs using uh, some kerosene. But <laughs> the problem I have now is that the choke plungers the some of the caps are broken so the return springs aren't aren't pushing on the caps to to return the uh, the uh, choke plungers so sometimes a choke lever sticks up so I'm gonna have to either rig up a uh, a spring to pull it back down somehow I tried finding the plunger caps or the plunger assemblies but Apparently they don't sell them, and I did find some OEM ones, but they're like 50 bucks a piece. I'm not spending $50 on a choke. I might just leave it down and maybe just raise the choke a little bit, because they will return if the choke goes up just a little bit, but if you put full choke, it sometimes will tend to stick. I don't know. Yeah, see? So, I'll have to... Uh, keep my eyes out and it's not hard um, it's not hard to replace these chokes I just got to pull the carbs out pain in the butt but not hard but anyway that's it for now <laughs>